Hi, this is Randy from Leaving Conformity Coaching. We all want to matter. We all want to be special in some way. Our identity is often wrapped up in making sure that we stand out from everyone else, having a name for ourselves. We want to be unique. But either you think that if everyone's special, then no one is, or that other people can be special, but not you. And why not? That's what nearly everything and everyone around you tells you constantly. Hear it long enough and eventually you'll believe it. So what does the world say about you? About who you are? How does the world define you or try to get you to define yourself? Somewhere along the way, you may have been told and by now may have even convinced yourself that you're untalented or unqualified or at least that you're okay, but you really should be better. Your dreams were foolish. Without a job, you're not worth anything. You'll never succeed. You're hopeless. You're broken. You can't accomplish anything worthwhile. This is all there is. There's something outside of God that you need. And maybe worst of all, God couldn't possibly love you. We don't want to admit that these messages are inside, so we cover them up, put on the best and bravest face that we can, and venture out into the world hoping that no one notices or looks too closely. Whether you've been aware of it or not, your life has been filled with these messages and ones like them, often from well-meaning people. But these are lies. You have believed a lie, and so have I. Instead of trying to shove the message down and ignore them, which never really works, we need to renew our minds. The Bible says that you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. If you don't know the truth, you'll believe the lies. So it's time to remind ourselves of the truth. You can't effectively move forward until we address these and get to the heart of your true identity what I call your supernatural kingdom identity. Remember, Paul said, do not conform any longer to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. If you've tried to find purpose, meaning, value, or even something seemingly as simple as a better job or a healthy marriage, and you haven't started from your supernatural kingdom identity, you're building on a shaky foundation that won't ultimately help you to live a life of meaning and to identify your unique, God-given purpose, and it certainly won't help you find work that you love, healthy relationships, or anything else of lasting significance. Jesus asked in Matthew 16, What good will it be for a man if he gains the whole world, yet forfeits his soul? Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? Trying to find the answers to these things, trying to find those value uh, purpose, passion, healthy relationships, any of those things, especially ultimately trying to find significance without uh, starting from this foundation, without having this identity in place first, is forfeiting your own soul, whether you gain the world or not. So we need to start from a different beginning. We're going to start the process of helping you to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Walt Disney said, The more I go to other amusement parks in all parts of the world, the more I am convinced of the wisdom of the original concepts of Disneyland. I mean, have a single entrance through which all traffic would flow, then a hub off of which the various areas were situated. That gives people a sense of orientation. They know where they are at all times, and it saves a lot of walking. That's the purpose of this Reclaim Your Supernatural Kingdom Identity series. Walk through the single entrance of understanding who God is, then up the main street to the hub where you start to grasp your supernatural kingdom identity. These two things give you that sense of orientation that you need, and it's only from this foundation that you can consider how He has shaped you to serve Him in the world through all the unique ways He's created each of us, the countless spokes off that central hub. Now to do that, we need to answer three questions. Who is God? Who are you in Him? 
and how do you define success? Even if these seem like simple questions with easy answers, you may be surprised what's lurking beneath the surface and holding you back from being the you that God made you to be. Once you get clarity on those, you'll be in a much better position to look at your strengths, personality, skills, abilities, gifts, and passions, how they fit together to make you who God uniquely shaped you to be, and then what to do to live that out and be the best possible steward of what he has entrusted to you. There is no higher and more valuable task than this, so I hope this resonates with you, that what I've said stirs you. If it does, just fill out the brief form below this video to subscribe to the Reclaim Your Supernatural Kingdom Identity series. Six videos that will lead you through the three questions to transform your life by renewing your mind. I look forward to our journey together.